welcome to another video from Mastery Tutoring. Today we're going to be talking about organic chemistry grade 12 and we are going to focus on the main three types of chemical reactions that occurs with organic compounds or the, the type of chemical reactions that occurs within organic chemistry. So the first one that we're going to talk about is the addition reaction and the second one is elimination reaction and lastly the substitution reaction. So now we're going to start with the addition reaction and explain it in much more details. So the addition reaction, it actually involves two reactants that react together to form a single product. Two reactants that combine to form a single product. General equation. Suppose you have A plus B that react together to form C. So C is your single product. This is a very key point. So I'm going to indicate here single product. And then these are your inputs. The reactants can be two or more. So it can be uh, three reactants, four reactants, ten reactants. But what you need to keep note of is that the output is a single output. So it can be three reactants, ten, whatever re whatever number of reactants. But then remember that your output is always going to be one output. And then another main point that you need to take note of is that all the atoms that are involved or that were contained in the inputs are now part of the output. So if you had 10 um, atoms, for example, in the, in the input, you are, you're going to have 10 atoms in the output. As much as it's a single product, but then you still have 10 of them. This simply means that um, there will never be a situation where you start with 10 atoms in the inputs or in the reactants, and then, uh, but then you end up with 15 atoms in the output or 5 atoms in the output. Whatever number of atoms that you start with, you're going to have as your product there. Addition reaction is a type of reaction that only occurs with unsaturated compounds. So we know that unsaturated compounds, for example, includes alkenes and alkynes. So you'll never have an addition reaction between um, alkanes or saturated compounds. It always occurs with unsaturated compounds. The next topic now is going to be the elimination reaction. So elimination reaction occurs when a reactant is broken up into two products. The general equation is given as follows. A broken up into two products, which is going to be B plus C. When you look at this general equation, you can see that it's actually the opposite of uh, addition reaction. So this is what it is. Elimination reaction is the opposite or the reverse of addition reaction. This also means that it only occurs with saturated compounds. The reaction does not take place with unsaturated compounds, but it only takes place with saturated compounds. For example, alkenes. We know that we all know that alkenes are saturated compounds. As with addition reaction, Whatever number of atoms that you start with here as your, in your reactants, you're going to end up with the same number of atoms on your product. There will never be an imbalance of 
uh, number of atoms. The next topic that we're going to talk about is the substitution reaction, as I've already mentioned to you. So substitution reaction occurs when an exchange of elements in the reactants occurs, meaning that uh, you start with a number of reactants and then some elements are swapped around and then you end up with a product that is completely different from the reactants. Suppose your reactants are A, B, plus C, D. Your product is going to be A, D, plus B, C. Looking at what happened here, initially had A, B, but then now the B has been swapped and put together with C, and then the D came and, and, and B with A here. So that's why you have A, D, plus B, C.